All right, fellas, we back. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna assess what we got. Y'all seen in the last videos, we took off the fender. We got the AC box out. And what I'm finna start on next is deleting the CCC system, which is computer command control. And you know, if you know about this, you know, it's all a, it's all or nothing. You have to use the, the carb, the distributor and the computer, or you have to take it all out and go with like a uh, a vacuum advanced uh, distributor and just a regular four barrel carburetor instead of one with like a um, TPS and the fuel mixture solenoid. You know, all this work in conjunction to get you good fuel mileage and stuff. And it was all during the smog era. So all this stuff you see is basically just choking the engine down, in my opinion, you know, some people have it and you know if all the components in the system is um it's good it works fine and stuff but it's pretty ar archaic and um i all right don't like it i think it sucks if you're gonna go with like something like this uh you might as well just upgrade to like the the real um computer computer command control which which i think is like the tbi system um which i had on my car when i took my car off that's what I had went to and that's what I have here from performance fuel injection systems and you know this is a um the ECU and it's got a uh, a chip in there that's um tailored to my engine my uh, 455 O's and it's the throttle body that I used it's got two injectors that's a two barrel and like this setup it's not like for like um high performance or nothing but like if you want your g-body to like be it's bulletproof i'm telling you like when i put this on my car it started up right up um drivability no issues you know you can read codes off your uh, check engine light you know you use a big cap ati and um and all you have is like this um adapter which is um it's machined out on the bottom to feed off all four barrels. And then you just set the throttle body on there. And you got the basic first um, throttle body TBI system that GM made. And it's fucking bulletproof, fellas. And these are uh, some pretty rare throttle bodies. These are all for uh, the 454, the big blocks. They like two inch boards. This one right here is real special. I had got this from um, rv uh morris machine which um he passed now in the uh company they don't do it anymore but what they did is you can like send in your um like your um your stock uh throttle body like your uh, core and what they'll do is they'll bore it out for you do some um some pretty nice working machining and get you a little bit more air and stuff you can see I don't know if y'all could tell. Let's set y'all up and I can kind of show y'all a little better what I'm talking All right, fellas, we're back. So this is what I'm talking about. If you look down in there, you see it's been bored out. The throttle blade's been changed compared to this one. You see them throttle blades much thicker. But this is still an awesome throttle body, if y'all. If y'all know about like the third gen TBI guys know, um, like this, like how the AC, uh, the IAC is routed, it's pretty uh special. And the other ones, they kind of uh, routed it kind of wonky, so you have some uh, drivability issues. But these, it's not like that. Like this one, you can tell. It has some work done to it. And I had no issues. So, what y'all fellas think? Should we go with something like this? Which, I can donate this to the build. And I can contact fuel injection systems. And I can see if they can get me a, a, a chip for his setup. And um, this distributor is for Oldsmobile. But this was what you'll use, which is... Uh, big cap ATI and it controls the timing and stuff so he'll have to get a distributor and um probably 
I could donate the throttle body here. This for 454, and it's probably a little bit big for the uh, 305, but I think it can work. But if not, you know the um, the throttle bodies for like the 305 to 350, they they plentiful. You can find them for like a hundred bucks on marketplace and stuff. So. And it uses a map sensor and a O2 sensor, but it doesn't use a, a wide band O2 sensor. It just uses a narrow band O2 sensor, which is kind of archaic and stuff. But if you want the drivability and the reliability, like this is a good setup. And I had it on my on my uh, Regal for like um, I say about two and a half years until I upgraded to the the Holly system, and it was bulletproof, fellas. So or we can just go with like a um the like the Holly Sniper 2 system. It's about 1300 bucks or we can go with like a just a regular HEI distributed vacuum advance and like a four barrel carburetor like a 650 and uh see if that just get a, get the job done. But I want to hear y'all opinion, man. If y'all can please drop down in the comments tell me what y'all think we should go. Me and my brother, we've been discussing it and stuff and um we're just trying to find the best one for the budget, you know what I mean? You know, like, this is just going to be a cruiser for now until he either build his LS or he get him a 350. And then that's when we'll worry about all the performance stuff. But right now, he want a nice cruiser that's reliable and that has the drive drivability where he can go pick up the kids and just go for a nice cruise. And that's what it's all about. You ain't got to have tons of power and all of that stuff you feel me it's about keeping these cars on the road and enjoying and admire them and they have, and that's and they pretty special man to me like the g-body platform it's the best car platform to me the only platform that can touch it is the fox body platform and the only reason i say that because those guys man if you know about the fox body guys they really support the fox body community the g-body community does too but we're kind of iffy and stuff it's like um like big wheels like if your car got big wheels people just won't like it they won't take like some of the stuff that they like about it because me personally i don't like big wheels on my car but i think they look badass on cars just because i don't like them on my car they don't mean they don't look badass they do look badass on some cars and it's different strokes for different folks you ain't gotta be like somebody else to to appreciate the stuff that they got like, I appreciate all cars, man. It ain't going to be, I don't care what color you are. If I think your shit's smooth, man, I'm going to tell you, man. I don't care if you're a skinhead or a Black Panther. I don't care about none of that stuff, man. It's about the cars. And that's what we got to learn to appreciate. And that's why the Fox Body guys, they got a good uh, support on their cars. And the G-Body does too, but that's the only car platform I think that can touch the G-Body platform. But it's no doubt that we got the most versatile platform from drag, drag races to all original, uh, low riders to big wheel cars. Like this platform, it's, a, it's like the best platform to me, fellas. It's real, real frame on, you know, like cars nowadays, um, to me, they fucking suck. It's like they all unibodies. It's like if you bag into the trash can, the car is total because it's all glued together or it's, they got bullshit welds and stuff. So that's just my opinion, fellas. I'd rather buy me an old body truck and put a new drivetrain in it and ride like that and just instead of going out and buying a, a big, big, a nice, well, all the trucks are nice, don't get me wrong, but you know, they're not like, stuff ain't what it's like this made back then, you know what I mean? So. What y'all think, fellas? We can either, um, I really wouldn't mind doing a TBI, man. Uh, I done done it before. We would need to get the harness, but it's all plug and play. Um, uh, I would like to hear y'all opinion. Um, uh, whichever one it is, it's going to be nice, fellas. But what I'm going to do now is start getting this, um, uh, the harness off and, um, I got to get, get back here, take some off the heads. Um, There's a lot of stuff that got to come off, fellas. And I'm trying to just figure out what's the stuff that's still going to be needed. Um, and the only thing that I done done some research on is probably, I think it's this connector right here. There's one connector they say that you need, you need to uh, retain, but I figure that out as I go. 
But uh, I'm gonna get the harness out and stuff and um, clean her up, get the manifolds off, um, like all this smog stuff. I'm gonna more than likely have to hack these off with a hacksaw. They ain't gonna be able to come off. And, um, you see, it's got a, if you look down there, it's got a, a oxygen sensor on there with the CCC system. So it's set up for the TBI system, you know what I mean? All the TBI system is a, is the upgrade to this, you know? And um, I think it'll be good on there. And like uh, like my car, like the O's 455, you know, some of them came with two-barrel carburetors on there. When I put that two-barrel throttle body on there, and I swear, man, the torque is outrageous. You know, it falls on its face up at, up, up at the top end, but, like, you don't need all that stuff when you just need a cruiser, you know what I mean? But we'll see where we go from there. And um, like the... The AC box, I've been assessing that and seeing if it's any big damage on it. And it looks fairly good, fellas. Uh it's gotta do a need a lot of cleaning. And y'all, y'all got a G body, y'all know about this thing. It goes right here. Mine was broke. Mine was broke. My AC box, my AC heater box was pretty hacked up. This was broke off. You know, that goes and it controls your blend door. Um, but this one, that little lever piece broke right there. I did they like five, six bucks on G body parts. So I'm gonna put that on the part list. And mine, that was broke. And right here at the top, this piece right here was broke. So I couldn't slide in the clip for the um for the AC controls. So I had to modify it and um make some work with that. But my AC box was it was in bad shape. And like the uh the new g body seal kit that we're gonna get it comes with all new seals and stuff and the foam to go in there i gotta get in there clean those up paint them so it won't be all rusted and stuff um but she in fairly good shape and um just go in there and clean her up real good and put the seals on it we'll get like a uh a new high speed relay new accumulator dryer um they had the precious the pressure cycling switch bypass so i don't know if that's bad so i just going to get a new one we're going to get a blower motor resistor the blower motor should be still good but we're just going to go on and replace that resistor um the heater core the evaporator core we're going to replace those uh what else He got a compressor that he had bought, but I said I think he says uh, something's wrong with it or not something. So we might just go on and get a new compressor for it too. And um, I'm gonna have to uh, test and see if his uh, windshield washer pump work. I'm gonna have to uh, get down there and change that if it if it's not working. And uh, like all these hoses and stuff, these check valves, all that's gonna get removed and I'm gonna replace it with uh, new hoses and stuff. Just try to make it look factory as possible. Um, the radiator probably still good. Now I see if you wanna replace it or not, but we're gonna definitely get a new parallel flow uh, condenser because we're gonna have to convert to uh, 134A and because um, you can't find R12 anymore. So it's a lot of stuff that we gotta do that's just like I told him, man, like with my bill, what I what I'm where I'm at now, it took me like four and a half, five years. And it wasn't all just done once, you know what I mean? It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, times that I didn't cry, pouted, you know what I mean? Like, y'all can ask my old lady, like, when stuff ain't going good with my car, I don't let it affect my family, but it affects me like it keeps me up at night. You know, like when I go to sleep at night, I scan through all my problems in life, you know what I mean? And I'd be stuck with just a little stuff with my car and stuff like, man, I can't believe I got to go out there and find that boat or do this or do that. And that's what just keep me up with little small stuff. But you're going to have problems when, when you're working on these cars and stuff, fellas. You know, you're going to have you're going to have setbacks. You're going to have times where you don't have all the money to get your part. You got to put it on the back burner. Family comes first, no matter what, you know, this going to always be here. You know what I mean? And it can always be restored, you feel me? So that's what we're going to go for. And it ain't no rush. Now, like I told him, like, before I got I was like, my schedule is set up to where, like, I can't just get, knock it out all at once, you know what I mean? 
But when I do have my off days, I am going to be working on it and stuff. But, like, it's not going to be something that I can just do in, like, a, a weekend or something because I only got, like, one day off, you know what I mean? So, but I promise you, fellas, if y'all seen my ride, that's what I'm going for. Even better, you know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this engine bay looking good, fellas. And then I got a little bit more work to do on the inside as far as surface rust. Getting some surface rust up. But we're going to knock. Y'all can't even see that, fellas. My, I'm sorry for that. But we're going to get all that surface rust out and stuff. Clean up the firewall. We're going to knock it out. But I need y'all to tell me what y'all think about where we want to go with the um, fuel delivery system. If it's going to be carb, uh, vacuum advance. TBI or like a uh, Holly system, which the Holly system is probably kind of out of the budget for now because if you want to do the Holly system, you might as well get like a 350, which you know you can always put the Holly system is universal. You can put it on any mo motor or anything and can always have it up for your next build. But like if you want to just do that, you might as well just do the 350 swap. For now, I think it's best to either the TBI or the carb and small cap. So. I want y'all to drop down in the comments and tell me which ones y'all think we should go with, and we'll go from there. And um, the intake going to definitely be changed out. Um, what else? What else we going to do to her? We're just going to focus on, like, just cleaning the engine bay up before we start on like brakes, suspension, and all that stuff. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Should we go with something like this? Y'all uh, go look up fuel injection systems. They make great kits, you know. The price that went up from when I, when I did it, I think when I did mine, which I didn't buy my throttle body from them, I sourced my own throttle bodies off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. I bought like, I wanna say I bought, yeah, I bought two of them. That was like a hundred bucks a piece. And um, I bought my uh, distributor for them. It was like 150, and I bought my computer and my harness from them. And I want to say I paid 750, if I'm not mistaken, for everything. So, but I got everything except for we might have to switch the chip, and the, we have to switch the uh, distributor for sure. And we might be able to use the throttle body, if not. But I say with the parts that we need, the harness probably about 300 bucks it's probably about five six hundred bucks you know but it ain't something that we got to do all at once you know we can buy a part here and buy a part there and, and do it like that as i'm going through and cleaning it up and i'm gonna have to get him to get a uh a seal kit so i can do go on and do all the seals and stuff because that's gonna have to be addressed so y'all tell me what y'all think and we're gonna get back on it uh tomorrow and sunday so I hope y'all enjoy, fellas. Y'all have a great day. And don't forget to drop down in the comments and tell me what fuel delivery system we should go with. Y'all have a good one.